going off. It's I mean, crazy. And Opequin's like, not bad. O no, Opequin almost won. Yeah, uh, he exactly. almost won. That's and what I'm then, saying. Uh, Sunflash found his opening, got a grab, and did a couple of up airs. Yeah. And, you know, Fox up airs on Pokemon Stadium too. Uh, exactly. <laughs> deadly. That's why you avoid it. All right. We got Sheik Fox. Sunflash versus Ginta. Going to Dreamland. Dreamland. Immediately. All that's right. That's a, that's a Sheik pick <laughs> right there. I mean, as a Fox, you don't really mind it either, though. Like, you can just run around fire lasers, especially yeah. as a faster player. This is good I for mean, both. I mean, a faster character. This is good for both, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's probably why they defaulted here. Like, yeah. as a neutral pick, is not necessarily bad for either one of them. Though. Yeah. No glaring fault, yeah, anyway. Exactly. Okay, again, tech chases. This is you what go. you have to do against Fox, because when you let Fox roam free, he's going to, you know, one, he has a oh, that short up there. The thing is, you can't, get, you can't get too greedy with your grabs, though, because Fox's be shine place. is just disgusting. And if you're if you're late by just one frame, you're going to yep. get shine. Yep. Get offset. And the killing power of Fox, like, in the scenario I was talking about with Marth, where if Fo uh, Marth or Sheik lands on stage and they have that lot of in-lag, Fox yeah. is going to kill you for it. Yeah. If you're at, high, if you're at a, the high enough percent. Yeah. Fox will be there. Nice. Good recovery option. Yeah, good recovery. Agreed. We'll see how long that... Like, we, we, it, the thing you can notice about whether a player is uh, good at spaces is knowing how and when to mix up things. Very nice with that. Going up on the up B. Holding down so he doesn't and yeah, die. Exactly. See what uh, what they'll normally do is if you go up, if they have time, that's throw it a uh, down smash. Ooh, I like that. Very nice. I wouldn't have thought about that. Yeah. But that's what I'm not very <laughs> <laughs> But uh, the thing I also noticed that up there. It's not necessarily a fox thing. Like I'm not gonna say it's because he plays fox, but that he's no uh, Sunflash has noticed that he can get on players at this level. And that's not a shot at anybody here. It's just not like super top level, you know? Right. It's that he's been getting a lot, a lot off of up smash out of shield. Yeah. He waits for them to throw something unsafe and then up smash out of shield. Find the appropriate lasers. So that's the thing that you can usually notice about a good fox, like a actually good fox, is foxes will go from not lasering at all at low level to learning that lasers are good and lasering too much and unsafely. Yeah. And then the next level is learning appropriately when to laser. Accurately, yeah. accurately saying how far away from my, how far away from my opponent am I? Yeah, because is it safe for me to laser? Not. And people are like, oh, you should just laser all the time. No, you should not laser all the time. You will get punished exactly. extremely hard, especially by Sheik yeah, for that. It, like any good player, and a player that I'm sure, like the caliber of player that Ginta is, is if you're in that posi in that like certain space that you're looking for a laser, if you as soon as your feet come off the ground and they know you're going to laser, they're going to punish. Yeah. But Sunflash definitely has a crowd on his side. Yeah. He definitely has a crowd on his side, and he has the lead, so he's got a lot of things going for him right now. Yeah. Very nice. Nice. He's actually playing super well, considering that he's had to wait between two sets since last time. That's the, that's yeah. the tech chase I was talking about. Oh, this is, this is nice. super nice. He wanted to finish it for the fans. Yeah. He's kind of playing stage positioning. Uh, he wanted that up smash, but uh, again, to DI'd well enough to get away from it. Oh, the nice, nice. He waited. Wow. Oh, he actually nice. lived. Nice DI. But in Ginta's Man. defense, he like Fox is fast enough. He he was waiting and waiting to react. He could have reacted either way. Yeah. Um, Ginta gonna throw. Oh, oh that's the stop. That's yeah. the thing that sucks. Is like oh. Fox can kill you off. <laughs> yeah. Recovery. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Taking a second. Oh. Pause himself. Nice. He needs to get this stock now. Nice. nice. Very nice. 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 Just sticks his little feet out there. Always and, uh, always good option. Down tilt on a on a recovering spacey. Always some, a great well, option. I think Sunflash was actually thinking that was coming. He knew or not necessarily that, but he knew something. He tried was to hit a harder angle yeah. to where he wouldn't get hit by it. You can do He that. almost did it. It it's just hard, you know. Ooh. The run in shine laser. Yeah. Ginta actually trying to turn this around. Oh, nice, nice. There you go, good way. Okay, so well, yeah, that's what I'm saying about like you put in that scenario. There it's you kind go. of I'm reaction. Not sure if he got a jump. Yeah, he, yeah. He that's it. Oh, oh I think no. he choked. Well, but he could have maybe back aired, fair something. That's a back air. Oh, oh, don't turn him to winner that. Eight. Yeah, that's that's that actually miss him. that's big. That's yeah. big. That might cost. The game. There's a bit of chokes he's going on. So like right now he could be put on percent of the next stock. Instead, yeah. Instead, he's actually trying to fight just to get the, the uh, third stock. And look, he has not been able to come down off of Sunflash for this entire set. That's the thing is if you don't get your punishes when you got them. That's why yeah, tech chasing is is good. 
Yeah, SM5 yeah. shows. He takes game one. You, you tech chase when you get the opportunity. Yeah. You need to get all you can off of it. Exactly. Because if Fox puts you in the air, Fox puts you off stage, you can take those very easily. Exactly. Or at least put on a lot of percent. Uh, as a Sheik main, where do you go? Where do I go? Against Fox? Yep. Not Pokemon? That's fair. No, don't go to Pokemon. And if you're confident that he's not... Ooh. Oh, whoa. Okay, whoa. so this is... This is I mean, I'm kind of surprised, but whenever I first played Ginta, I've only played him one of the times besides here, and it was like a year ago or a year and a half ago maybe, he uh, was a Falco main. Really? Yeah, so... Okay. It's not like he's like crazy yeah, okay. wild this out there. This isn't just some wild stuff. Yeah, he didn't just fucking put his, or freaking yeah. put his hands in the air and just... <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I was like... I was like, um... Okay, so I don't, I don't know now. I don't know where he should have went optimally yeah. with Falco. That was he's, extremely he's, nice. But like, you can see his, his Sheik play, or I mean, maybe you can see his uh, tech chase ability, and that's yeah. why he went to Sheik. But you can see his play right now because he's doing really good tech chases. He actually takes the first stop. Oh, oh wow! You gotta I'm grab actually, that, that ledge. Was a, in Ginta's defense, I didn't think he was. Gonna I didn't think he was gonna make that. That's he it. won't make that back. Yeah, well, Ginta just holds ledge. Yeah. Oh! Oh my word! Sunflash is Don't just do that. Sunflash is just living. Sir. Yep. If he takes the stock, that's it's that a hard. Is, that is brutal. I was gonna say that's a hard loss for. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. That's good that he took that because that's yeah. a hard mental break. Like yeah. whenever you should have took that twice and then you also lose your stock first. Exactly. Nice. Nice. He's on him. He's on him. If man. I'm playing against Ginta, and I like. If I'm the opponent playing against Ginta, I almost never want to be on a platform versus Ginta. Yeah, exactly. He's really good on the platforms. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's call out. Let's use one of Fox's good moves and yeah. <laughs> just kill somebody. Nice. Very, very nice option. Okay, See, I, I was thinking another shine and, like, up B. Right. But, I mean, I'm not, I don't play Falcon. So. It's. <laughs> It's hard not to, f or it's hard to fault like a anybody playing against Fox or anything like that whenever they are trying to recover and they don't grab ledge, because it's not like a Sheik or something where you grab ledge and then cover the second option later. Yeah. Fox hits the ground running whenever he yeah. comes out of his fire Fox, so you kind of have to choose one. It's a mix up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oddly enough, it's looking like Sunflash because normally he is like throughout all the sets that I've watched, he's been like the hardcore aggressor, and right now I really feel like Gen is putting him on defense. Right. He's caught oh, him off that, guard. That, that's it. Oh, okay, nope, never mind. He's oh. back. That'll be it. But nope. oh, wow. the thing about it is, is when Sunflash messes up, he's oh, had backups wow. for his mess ups. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's ready. He's ready in case he messes up. Nice. That's that's, that's gonna be a stock right there. So, Two stock lead. I mean, one and a half stock lead. Ginta's saying uh, this counter pick was uh, character counter pick was yeah. the right choice. He called him. He, he called him out. I wonder if this is gonna be a stage specific thing, or if he's gonna be maybe. like. Maybe, maybe. I mean, that would that. I don't know if that would inherently make sense, but yeah, it could be. Wow. Wow. Because I don't think necessarily Sheik versus Fox and Battlefield is bad. No, no, not at all. Uh, it's probably not like your. It's not your best option, but it is. It's fine. Maybe you know it could be. For all we know, that Ginta just wants to go back to his roots. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Uh, that's it. That's it. You just. Oh, oh. I think you just down it. I think you just. You just. Say, you can't. I'm done. It's just. Yeah, it's already, little, he yeah, took yeah. it anyway. So why he wasn't. He wasn't worried. He was already. Up, he was up by so much. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, there's two ways of thinking about it. Being like, I don't have to go for anything extreme because I'm up so much. But you could also be on the other side of it and be like, I am up so much. I can just I go can do to something dip crazy. It. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I am up so much that I could just do something wild and it would work. Okay, See, no, look, yeah, he's going to Pokemon now. And he's staying Falcon. Yeah. And. Honestly, Sheik versus Fox on this stage as well, not a good idea. That's fair. It's really not. I don't know, like, on the regular without transformations, I don't think it's bad because if Sheik gets yeah. a grab, she can do like what she do on final and tech chase. Yeah. Obviously, the low ceiling would be Low a ceiling. It's low ceiling, and then when the stage changes, the stage change actually, in my opinion, it doesn't help, but it doesn't necessarily hurt. You just have to stay away from the pit entirely because right. you can't pit fight like Fox can. You but again, to showing that uh, he would re much rather play Falco Ooh. here. He's taking that first stop. And if he holds ledge appropriately, Thank God. yeah, he just rolled up. <laughs> he li he's literally been way too wild for his own hands. That'll help his average because if you took the average of how many edge guards it actually finally takes to kill yeah, exactly. Sunflash. But I'm not gonna take all the credit. Or I'm not gonna discredit uh, Genta's Ooh. edge guarding necessarily. I'm gonna give some credit that Sunflash is really good at mixing it up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
Nice. We're gonna re grab on the platform. Yep. Uh, we're, letting that, we're letting that raw dare come out and hit him. Sun Flash doing the same thing. Houston guys, there I've noticed, go. are all really good at tech chasing. Yeah. It, it, it's just a really good Ooh. tool to have. You go for the hard read. And, and there's a lot of matchups where tech chasing is. It just it just helps to be able to be able yeah. to do it because a lot of people get frustrated by it. I mean, you know, there's a difference between being good at tech chasing or as in and being good at reading your opponent. Tech well, like knowing how to read your opponent, yeah. but they're they're calling the rolls correctly and they're doing the appropriate moves when yeah, they get there. Yeah, exactly. Sunflash actually turning this around, taking two stocks. Yeah. It's like that's it. Like you can Even be, game. you can be really good at regrabbing over and over and over, but can you can you do something With once you, once your tech chase? You need to end it at some point. Right. Try to get a stock. Oh, that was, nice. That was really. This nice. is a really good combo. He's showing a little bit of his tech skill. So far, it looks like Falco could have been the turning point. Yeah, I mean, really. Not to count Sunflash. You never know, like, like Sun, Sunflash, like. Sunflash may be better at the non-spacing matchup, like like Actually, like in general. I mean, yeah. players have their different things, and maybe that's yeah. Because I mean, earlier, I mean, he was playing against Marth. He played against uh, uh, Sheik. He played against, I believe, he did, he didn't play against Peach. I don't think, but he was destroying like all of them. Yeah. You know, and now he's playing a space helmet, and it looks like it's a little different. Oh, holding down so wow. he doesn't die at 103 on. That was nice. That was extremely good. Yeah. He definitely caught catch that. So this is all really just helping Genta going into the last stock. Yeah, that's that should be it. Very nice. Okay, so one one. This really depends. This determines a lot of the counter pick advantage. Yeah, for sure. Oh, the stage change. Nice. Oh wow, that was really nice. That was nice. So Genta trying to one game away from yep. uh, resetting the bracket. Exactly, man. This is crazy. He'll say Falco, no reason to change. Yeah, I mean, he's he's doing well. Some players going to say Fox, because obviously being down one game is no yeah. to change. Nice. Uh, I don't know about yeah. that down smash. I don't, I'm not sure if that was entirely on purpose. No, he probably tried to fall through platform down. Probably tried to, yeah. Nice. Oh, Shy, Shy Guy's all Shy up guys. in that tech chase. Shy Guy's RNG. Oh, down here? That's a dare. Yeah, it's not going to be it, but... Uh, oh, I like oh, the... the turnaround. Yeah, the turnaround. The, the shine turnaround. It didn't work, but it looks... Oh, yeah, it was sick. Props, oh. to, the, props to the kid for the fashion melee. <laughs> Heck, yeah. I feel like at this point, if you're near the ledge right there, instead of shine down here, you can almost go shine back here or something. Yeah. That's There's that No? Oh, didn't wow. Good, yeah. Oh, and oh. he didn't get there fast enough. He didn't react quickly. Whoa! Shine, the, the, the shine clash. Like, the invincibility on the shine. That was insane. Did I see a taunt when I looked away? I didn't see it. I, I heard the hype though. That's an even game. That's a three. That's a three three. Three three. He's always roll. He's always rolling in towards the stage when he gets up on those platforms, and Nita may recognize that. Yeah. If okay, he does, so. you can start tech chasing him on the platforms because he's already good enough at it in the first place. Gosh, dang, man, nice. that, was, that was extremely nice. He tried to wait for oh, him to yeah. jump out of shield, and that's uh -oh. actually going to be uh, it. Wow. Yeah. He, he almost wow. He almost made it back three times. I think that was one extra <laughs> back air that it was that. Oh, I, that's where that's got to be missing. Back air. Uh, oh, oh, Randall, Randall pulled coming him out. Away. He oh, that, him away. Is, is that going to kill him? No, okay, no, no, no. no. I thought that uh, Sunflash was about to take Dude, full Randall, advantage. Dude, Ran Randall has been helping Sunflash so much. <laughs> yeah, that's a good call from uh, yeah. Sunflash. You're at 148. What do you have to lose? If you go on a stage, you die anyway, so go for Oh, my gosh. He missed that edge guard again. Uh, also, Randall is... I don't know what Randall's doing, how much Sunflash paid Randall. Yeah, like, holy... <laughs> my lord, man. Randall's disrupting all the flow right now. Randall and the shy guys. Oh, nice, nice, very good option with the down smash. All right, well, we were talking about Genta being, even. we were talking about Genta being down, uh, or being one game away from reset the bracket. Sunflash is saying, I don't want to play another three games. He Sorry, said, he said, games. let me, he said, let me win <laughs> these two games real quick. Let me mess around and win these. Exactly. The cool thing about Spacey though is, as 
Oh, that's it, actually, I think. Oh, okay, no. Uh, Sunflash didn't expect him to mess up either. It's kind of the benefit of when you mess up, when you're not, when you don't usually mess up, yeah. is that your opponent kind of gives you the respect. That's it. Oh, what nice angle. in the world? Nice angle. A little bit of a uh, flub, I think, from Sunflash, but it was a nice angle. Oh, good lord. That's, that's it, yeah. So we're going to game five. Uh, wow. Genta wanting to refresh the bracket, and Sunflash trying to take his money and go. Oh, look at him go. We may, we may see 10, 10 grand finals games. It's always a... Uh, Can you imagine? Has he won two games with Falco? Or yes. did he win one with Sheik? He won two, he won two games with Falco. So I wonder if he, that he lost pick, the first game. I wonder if that Sheik pick maybe like kind of bite him you know, a little bit because maybe. he gave up the one of their games uh, free kind of with yeah. the Sheik pick. Because right now it's 2-1 for Falco Fox. Yeah. But... I mean, that's just kind of the way the, dole, the dice roll sometimes. Oh, wow. That was extremely 64 nice. 64%, 70 you take wow. that? Wow. Oh, oh, I thought that was going to be the stock. The illusion. Oh, okay, so he's going to... The, the good thing about that is, is that if Falco lands an opening, he's going to put the... If you, if you do it right, he's going to put the exact same percent back on. Yeah, exactly. Oh. That's going to be an upsmash, right? Oh. Wow. He didn't have to... He was looking the for the up fair. smash. But he had to follow up. That's nice. Right. That's it. Going into game five, uh, Sunflash. Oh, that was very close. That was very close. Sunflash is uh, looking to close it. Ooh. You don't want to go down two stocks. Yeah. Not in this scenario. Oh, nice. Wow. So the down smash, whenever yeah. Falco or Fox face against the other, uh, the back side of it, mm -hmm. actually hits below the ledge. Really? Yeah. Did not know that. Noted. Uh, so he's done that twice now. Yeah, I don't know if that's like a controller. I think that's a nerves thing. Maybe. Maybe he's just trying to like do a laser. That's gonna be it, I think. Oh, what? I actually oh wow. I, I don't blame Sunflash too much because uh, I would not. And now he's putting on the percent. He wants to take the stock from that. You have a second lease on life, so yeah. just put everything you can into this. Yeah. But, so. Uh, that shine way, he's done that a couple times, and Sunflash decided he was gonna go ahead and call yeah, Sunflash it. Sunflash read it. Pretty hard. And they kind of reacted to afterwards. Yeah. Oh no. Wow. That's actual. Wow. That's, that's actual thing. If he loses stock, it's bad. Oh, he wanted to shine because he didn't have a jump. Uh, but oh, just oh. Walks, <laughs> walks directly into the fourth. What do you have to lose in that scenario, wow. right? Like yeah, exactly. you almost die. Just take it. Exactly. All right. So this is actually oh. Oh, super close, but nice. You guys nice. See the I actually. Oh, that. Oh. You, do you see the flubs coming out? He's actually getting really nervous. Yeah. So, I mean, up by one stock. This is uh, the last. This is tournament stock for Genta. Is Genta gonna kind of show some more nerves, or is he gonna kind of pull, it, pull up. it up and just get at least to the bracket reset? Can he do it? I don't know. Oh, we'll wow. find out in about the next few minutes. Yeah. Wow. Turn around, laser shine. I mean, the percent he has Poking. right now. Don't let him fall. Oh, oh wow. I don't think he meant to call that, but like... Oh, nice. wow. Okay, so this is really close now. Really close. Extremely close. We are one stock away from either the tournament being over or there being a bracket reset. With Falco, you are one combo away. Oh, no. That's it. That's it. Oh, no. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's back. He's back on. I thought. I think Sunflash thought he was dead, too. Can get to do it, though, now? Because you got to think Ginta's hands are so sweaty right now. Because oh, yeah. He thought he was dead. I thought he was dead. <laughs> That pressure, that pressure on that shield. He just finally lasers. Oh, oh no! Those are the nervous lasers. Oh, oh that's it. That, Ginta, your Ginta grand put finals. Up a good fight though. Ginta did put up a good fight. He goes all the way yeah. from losing before top eight, right? Yeah. Going to put in a losers bracket and then battling through all the way to the losers side of grand finals, going to gain five exactly. in grand finals, almost resetting. Admirable. Very admirable. Actually admirable. But Sunflash showing that he was the better player at least yeah. here today. Yeah. At least here today. For sure. He adapted. He adapted to the switch. He did. He changed it up. He did. He did. He like, really did. He, he won at game first, one at first, he, he couldn't adapt to it. He, he was he was he was messing up constantly. Yeah, I mean, you got to think mentality wise. He he loses game one as uh, as Sheik. So he switches yeah. to Falco. Takes the next two games. Pretty pretty so solid. Yeah, like say. like to get it. That's like that's a mental hump right there. That's yeah. that's like you gotta you gotta climb over that because you can't let that. You can't be like. You can't think that like the character is the defining difference between right. your, your skill level. So you know like, what I'm saying? props to both of them because one, yeah. it takes a lot to in grand finals 
literally switch your mentality in, in your neutral, like the way you're thinking about the game. Going yeah. from a character like Sheik to going to Falco. Yeah. You, no matter how many times you, how you've played Falco, switching like immediately is hard. Yeah, it really. And so also give props to Sunflash for taking the, at least, you know, I'm not saying he, he wanted to lose those, but he took what the information he had and then in game five used it to his advantage. Exactly. You saw him reading things where, like, he waited for him to do the shine stall, yeah. called that. He knew that, he called him several times, not going to the ledge. Yeah. Let him know that uh, we'll be back later on this channel for Smash 4. Okay. What, uh, this is the, the, what's the Twitch URL here? Uh, it's the Slurred Nerd. The Slurred Nerd, okay. Right. Yeah, so, I don't know if, uh, if y'all can hear that through the mic, but... They are. We're getting ready to close this up for now. From Melee's done. Uh, there will be a Smash Four. I'm assuming Top Eight as well. Yeah, I'm sure just Top, top eight. eight. I believe Top Eight here later. I'm not exactly sure how much later. Probably like in the next few hours. I. They, they're, they're running bracket currently. They're, they're, no, they are running bracket. Yeah. Okay, are. so probably within the next hour. Or so uh, we will be doing that. They're they getting played, ready to they close played up the here. first game of bracket like before grand final started. Yeah. So. So uh, props. Okay, so uh, to close it all up, props to. Uh, Sunflash for taking it all. Yeah. Props to Ginta for his amazing losers run. He almost, you know, he almost did it. He almost did it. Yeah, he re he really did. Uh, it was got, impressive. The switch. Was it? Uh, who got third? Was uh, it Opaque? Opaque got third. Opaque, I believe. Yeah. He got third, and uh, I'm not sure fourth, fifth, but congrats to everybody who got top eight. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it was really fun. Uh, it was really great turn. Uh, this is like the, one of the biggest turnouts we've had here. Yeah, this is, this is incre this is incredible. And so I want to thank the Houston guys for coming out and playing. Yeah, uh, and sure. obviously, like the top eight bracket was literally seven other Houston guys and me. Yeah, exactly. So they definitely showed up. They showed up strong. Mm. Um, for sure. For I think sure. that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Okay. You want to interview some flash? Uh, no, I I have to go. Okay. All right, I guess I'll interview. Yeah. How you doing, man? I'm good, dude. Forgive me for however this interview goes. I don't usually interview. Oh, dude. Me either. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Good, good. Feels good, man. Yeah, I know Ginta, uh, no, nothing against Ginta, but I think he thought, uh, he said that he was going to win it pretty solidly. So yeah, that's what he thought. Yeah, so, yeah. That's what he thought. How do you feel about that? Yeah, uh -huh. He, Although, I will say, Ginta did have a very good loser's run. He lost before oh, yeah. top eight and then made it back all the way to lose. He lost to Churd. Yeah. Well, I went to game five. Was that I went to game five with everyone. Was that an upset for uh, from uh Yeah. Oh, okay. There, he's beaten him before, but it's uh, like seven and three against his favor. Oh, okay. So okay. that probably wasn't going to happen, and it did. Okay. Yeah, I know he got his revenge. Yeah. But uh, also, I was going to ask you, so you beat him game one as Sheik. Yeah. Uh, as a Sheik, and then he went to Falco. I know he used to play Falco, because I played in he... Houston a while, a while back. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so that wasn't like a crazy pick, but uh, did you just... I know because he won the next two games, so I was like, okay, that's a pretty good right. pick on Falco. Did you just have to adjust to it? or? Yeah, I wasn't prepared. I've been camping all day. That's fair. <laughs> I've been camping every single set, and uh, if you try to camp versus Falco, you just lose. Right, so right. I was trying to – and he – I mean, him and his crew have been watching me, so <laughs> yeah. they're, they're more prepared for me than I was for them. Are you a Houston guy? Or? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm from Houston, like, oh, okay. clearly. Okay. I don't play with them very often. Uh, so that's what okay so yeah it's like you're all from Houston but it's different like groups yeah they go to um, UH uh, right. downtown uh -huh. it's like 30 minutes from me okay. I, don't, I don't really go up there that often okay I'm, I'm trying to think uh, you had a really close set against uh, Opec is that his Opec? name yeah yeah uh, Dr. Feces yeah. uh, Max yeah the, well the winner's finals uh, match like I think I think I was watching that. I wasn't commentating yet and I honestly it looked like he was going to win and yeah. then you pulled it out yeah yeah you yeah you pulled it out like so, congrats <laughs> on that. Like, how, oh, thanks. What, so you think it, it's hard because he came, he lost immediately, and then got three would and uh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. dropped back. So, like, do you think that uh, it's just kind of a character thing or a player thing that getting to three would him, even though he went to game five with you? That's definitely a character thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not quite as good versus Marth, right. and uh, Ginta is like the whole reason he plays Sheik is so he could beat Marth. Right, right, right. So he's really a uh, he studies that matchup a lot. So it, it didn't surprise me that uh, Max lost to him. Mm -hmm. I thought Ginta was going to win, but, uh, I mean, it could go either way, obviously, right, right. always. So you rather – do, do you, how many times have you and Ginta played? Is that, do you all play somewhat often? Well, he's been in the scene for like 
two years. I've been in for like three. Mm. Uh, and we've only played one other tournament set, which was actually like three weeks ago. Oh, okay. Like okay. three weeks ago, so which, that, which I won. That was going to be my follow-up question. I didn't know if like y'all had played a lot and the Falco pick was just kind of like crazy or like... No, I as soon as he lost game one, I knew he was going Falco. Oh, I, could, okay. I could tell by his like just body language. Mm -hmm. Like uh, he just kind of sat there and I was taking my time because, right, right. you know, I just won. So he just kind of sat there he's like forward like this yeah yeah <laughs> and I'm like dude he's going Falco <laughs> yeah. he's 100% going Falco yeah, like, like I said like it took you or I won't say it took you because it wasn't like they were blowouts whenever he won with Falco yeah but he won the next two and then it looked like game five like uh, there was a couple of scenarios on Fountain where it looked like you just kind of got used to what he's doing where he at one point shine stalled on the side yeah. and you immediately didn't go to the ledge you waited for him because you knew he was going to jump inside me yeah and it just killed him immediately <laughs> And then you like called him every time because he didn't go to the ledge, like yeah, yeah. he was firefoxing or fire falcon or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's your winning. Oh, thanks, bro. Thank you. So really, damn. All right, let's go. Uh, I guess we'll finish this up. Yeah. Congratulations on the plaque, man. These are yeah. sweet. This yeah, this is really cool. I didn't know that's what these were. Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. they were just like there's chilling one for, over there. There's one for every game. Uh, so one of the local like uh, the girls here, uh, one of the artists here, like made it. So. Oh yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah cool. Sick. And uh, money's always nice. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean. More tonight than I made last night. Yeah. And so, uh, I mean, we appreciate you coming out, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And man. congrats. Thanks a lot. No problem. All right. I don't know if he wants me to shut it down. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he wants me to interview Ginta, Ginta or not, but. Hey, uh, am I staying? What am I doing here? <laughs> oh, okay, there he is. I need a mouse pad. Hey Vincent, I, is that it? You want me to shut down now or? Uh, ready to wrap it up? Yeah, I'm Vincent. Right. Okay, as a last reminder, there will be Smash 4 here later, so uh, tune in in about an hour or two maybe. Uh, no problem.